Yeah, uh, a very different challenge in this, uh, what we maybe would say a new Toronto side under John Herdman. Um, certainly some areas of the game that we needed to adapt to um, and try and, uh, and, try and uh, you know, take to our advantage. I thought the early exchanges, we should really have been a couple of goals to the good. Some very good signs with some more aggressive pressing. Um, unfortunately, on the day, I thought I thought the pre-season just caught up with us. Um, Two sixty minutes for these guys that played the first stretch uh, in the space of four days. Right now, in some very warm weather, just looked uh, a little bit off the pace, if I'm honest. But that is all part of pre-season, and we finish up, I think, in a, in a very good place physically, and we've learned some very very good lessons about individuals and about the group at this point, so nice place to be. We are going to open the floor for questions. We'll kick it off with Ben Wright. Yeah, Gary, um, Hani got his first action of preseason. I know you mentioned that he's kind of been worked back slowly um, after some issues. How did he look? And kind of, I guess on a similar note, I don't think Randall's featured since the, uh, since the first game. Is he dealing with injury? Um, or, or kind of, can you give an update on his status? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's let's take Hanny first of all. Um, yeah, he came into camp, needed a a, a bit of work on a, a foot problem, and slowly but surely got himself back into a really good place. Great to see him out there. Planned on thirty minutes, ended up getting forty. So it's a nice a nice day to day for him. Finishes on a good note, uh, and we give ourselves what is it two and a half three weeks before we play Mocha. So uh, I'm I'm delighted for that. That's a, that's a big plus point of the day. Um, Randall, you know, went away with Costa Rica. Um, he was called into the group, and I do believe that there's been some news out there about his uh, his injury. But he's actually been injured in camp, and he's on his way back home. May even be there right now. Hi Gary, um, just a quick uh, couple of things on uh, Jack Mayer and Lucas McNaughton have kind of carried the, the bulk of the minutes at, at the uh, centre halves um, during pre-season. So just some thoughts on, on how they're looking. Uh, and also on Drew Yearwood, obviously you want to push up the field a little bit more at times this season. Uh, how is Drew adapting to, to his midfield role? Yeah, I, look, the two centre-backs, um, they featured for us last year, Tony, as you well know, did a very good job. I want to build that relationship and keep building it. Uh, I see those guys at the moment as, you know, the pair to lose the job. And as we work towards the start of the season and some important games... You know, those guys, uh, uh, you know, need to be in the best shape possible. And, and that relationship needs to be in the best place possible. We've also lost at different times, of course, Walker. Daniel Lovitz is not yet featured. And we've also been without Shaq at certain moments in time. And, and that's, you know, that's been a problem in terms of continuity. So keeping those two together that I know have played some football, I think has been a help throughout this period of time. And... They're moving forward incrementally. I think there's things in one or two areas of our game that I've asked. Um, you know, a tad more aggressive, higher lines, you know, front foot approach in certain periods of the game that need some adapting to. And, and both of those guys are sh showing all the right signs and credentials, but certainly mistakes being made all around the field. And, you know, what we've found in this preseason is that, you know, we've either seen some very high standard um, with and without the ball, or we've learnt some very important lessons. There's no, there's no desperately bad things going on with the group. They're in good shape, and, and we move forward in a much better place. As far as Drew's concerned, he had a bit of a tight quad middle part of, of this uh, camp. Um, he played 60 minutes for the first time today, and I do believe we will start to see a little bit more of Drew, of his game and what he can give to us as we go into what I would class as the second part of this pre-season as we return home. But he's fitting in great. Um, I think some of his qualities will be a, a very, very nice balance for us in that midfield. Jacob James. Yeah, Gary, I believe uh, Walker, Zimmerman and Dan Lovitz are the only two players that have yet to feature in this preseason. I guess, where do you see them in terms of their overall fitness and being ready to play? They're, they're both making very good progress. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we might well be in a position where Daniel Lovitz 
has um, you know an opportunity to start joining the group in the early part of uh, this month, maybe in a in a five or six days time, which would be wonderful news. Um, Walker may be slightly longer than that. Um, physically, he's in a really good spot, but I think there are still one or two hurdles that we need to jump. The uh, you know the the projection for Walker is to be back in contention and looking for minutes um, in and around that first game against Mocha. Um, so, you know, he has a, a little bit more work to do in his area, but both of them are, are progressing. Final question with Lucas Fonseca. Take us home. Hey, Gary, you, you mentioned before the importance of building confidence in the preseason. Just curious as your time in Florida wraps up and you head home, who's made the most drives in that regard, if anybody comes to mind? Yeah, look, I, I, honestly, up until maybe the, the period this morning against Toronto, where I think the guys, as I've said earlier on, they, they looked as though the preseason had just caught up with them. And look, everyone has a very different way of looking at this stage of, of the year as we prepare. My philosophy has always been that these games present you with opportunities to, um, you know, really rubber stamp some of the, the, the positives in your team. Um, and the things that are not quite where you want them to be, you learn lessons from. But today the lads look tired, and, and that's not a shock given the work that they've got through. Um, you know, second 60 minutes in quite warm conditions for that first group. Uh, you know, Toronto, their first game looked quite bright and lively and presented us with some challenges. But nevertheless, you know, there were, as I said, still some really good opportunities to have got our noses in front. I think Sam... Tyler, um, the two wide players today, McKenzie and, and Jacob, up until today have, have shown some wonderful signs. Um, McKenzie, who we've not mentioned an awful lot, has looked very, very bright. Um, you know, Sean Davis, who um, wasn't always in the starting lineup towards the end of last year and off season, one or two difficulties physically, um, look, looks as though he's, he's moving back into gear and in a nice place. And if you look outside of that, you know, we've got guys that have been in a difficult physical spot in terms of uh, some, some injuries and ailments, and we're slowly rounding into some, you know, into some fitness here with a group across the board. If you look at the starting group and the starting lineup today, still without Hanny, still without Annabelle, still without Walker, still without Daniel Lovitz, and no Randall, of course, because he's away, and that may be a tad longer. There's some bigger missions there. So as we start to go into phase two, as long as those guys can continue on the pathway they're on, I think we'll be in good shape.